what risk are you willing to take to get what you want? When I was, when I decided I was going to become a motivational speaker, there were people who, who thought it was impossible for me to become a keynote speaker from a doorman carrying bags to the big stage in front of thousands of people. Ladies and gentlemen, opportunities are everywhere in this country, but only to those who are willing to go an extra mile. Do you know why people think or know that it is impossible for you? Because it is impossible for them. And they automatically assume it's impossible for you. When I was a little boy, I learned a powerful metaphor from a man named Raphael. Raphael told me about the bees and the rattlesnakes. He told me that the bees, when they're out, they're always looking for something that is sweet, honey. And it uses the honey, to, uh, the, the nectar to create honey. It's good. It's, it's got all the essential vitamins. But the rattlesnakes, when it's out, it's always looking for something that is bitter to create the poison in its tail. Unfortunately, so many of us in our society, we are just like the rattlesnakes. We want to find everything that is bitter. And we take the bitterness and we go to the uh, uh, workplace and we go to churches, we go to different places of gathering, we begin to inject our poison and destroy people's dreams. A lot of people do that. But the bee is a different story. The bee meets you, doesn't even know you, and the bee already finds all your strength. The bee is a leader that will reach inside of you and find the best and then magnify it in front of your face. But the rattlesnake will do different. They'll meet you in five minutes. They don't even know you. They child, please. I don't even like him. I don't even like her. I don't know why I don't like you. Maybe, maybe you look like an ex-husband or something. And so how do you deal with the, with the rattlesnake around you? Very simple. Pour honey on the rattlesnake. Find the best inside that rattlesnake. And then bring it out, no matter what they say about you. I remember I was um, dealing with a guy who, the guy was just like a, 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 a big rattlesnake. And he was around to destroy me internally. He said some hurtful things to destroy me. But all I did, I kept going around. Every time they mentioned something about him, I would say something nice. I'd put some honey there. Every time I see him, I just shake his hand. How are you? Great to see you. I love your shirt. I love the great things you do. In great family, I keep pouring honey onto that rattlesnake until eventually, slowly, he began to evolve as a bee because I put so much honey into him. I want you to make a declaration of independence for yourself. That from this day on you are an extra miler. You will never settle. You know what a champion is? A champion is a person who will go as far as the person can go. When the person reaches the limit, go an extra mile. So I encourage you to go an extra mile. You are watching television. There's not much to see. The remote control is in your hands. You click, click, click. Boring television. Until you came to this one channel where they are showing the starving children in Africa. Whether you're a businessman or a student or an individual employee, if you've got circumstances that you think are tough, you're not going to believe Renee's story. Growing up as a young child in Haiti, coming to the United States underneath a truck, this man's story is amazing and we have him on in-depth. He's starving, he's crying. And sure enough, you are not sure he will make it. He's called the village hero. I was born in a little village in Haiti, uh, very primitive. We had no running water, no electricity, and uh, we didn't have any plumbing and no access to medical care. Life was really, really, really tough. Although I have never been in one of those commercials before, and uh, I've never met Sally Strothers before, But when I was a little boy, I was just as deprived as the one you saw on your television. Today, I am the luckiest man alive because I am living in the United States of America. The land of which I'm so grateful for and so many take for granted. The land of opportunity. 
Ladies and gentlemen, opportunities are everywhere in this country, but only to those who are willing to go an extra mile. Now, when you came from Haiti, you came with very little, didn't you, Renee? Very little. Five dollars. Had a tiny suitcase. To this day, I travel across the country with my little suitcase. <laughs> uh, I have my most precious belonging. It's in it. Is the flag of this country, which, you know, for years before 9/11, I was traveling around showing it to people. Uh, and uh, two shirts and one pair of pants. I came to America in 1983, and I came with five dollars, two shirts. I didn't speak any English. English was very confusing for me. Believe it or not, the first two words I learned were same thing. And then I, I, I don't believe in reinventing success. I believe in modeling success. You know what I did? I began to use the, those two words to the mass. I would go to McDonald's. At the time, they didn't have number two, number three, no numbers. So I looked at the menu. I'm a Haitian boy. I don't know what's going on. And I couldn't make sense out of the menu. I'd stand right behind the guy in front of me. May I take your order, sir? Guess what I said? Same thing, uh-huh. I, I, I got to eat a lot of same thing I didn't like. 